Hi, you're listening to Kate Palmer from sparklecart.com and today I'm going to have a look at what's in the box. So it's an unboxing and a first look at the Mini Mink Machine from Heidi Swap. Today I'm going to show you what's in the box and I have a Mini Mink from Heidi Swap. Now I have to confess to having already opened this little box and I'm very glad I did because my packet of goodies was missing so when I contacted Heidi Swap about this they sent me a replacement packet of mink goodies and a little roll of mink uh, foil so thank you so much for your wonderful customer service really happy so in the cute little box we have A very neat little machine. Some very simple operating instructions. Thankfully there's not that many of them and most of the page is a picture, the introduction and the security um, and the safety information. So there's really not very many instructions for the mink. I think there's eight in total so it's nice and easy I including uh, a panel on page 7 that shows you what settings to use for different kinds of papers and cardstocks. And then in the box here, let's hope I don't cross it, is a very neat little machine. Okay, so to remove, yep, there we go, remove the plastic packaging. Oh, there's a protective layer on there as well, got it. Okay, and remove the plastic. And you have an extremely cute mini mink machine. So it's plugged in but it's not yet turned on. Let me just turn it so you can see whatever it is I'm doing. Right. So I will need some test projects, foil and a mink folder. I've got one I've cut to size. So on the back there's two little knobs here. So this is the power button and it says this is the roller release lever. So I'm assuming if things get stuck, that's your best friend. Turn the machine on. This is usually where I hope things don't blow up. So I am going to try something from the Mink Signature Ephemera pack because that's what I was sent. Uh, no, I wasn't sent this because I'm being paid to do review. I was sent this because my little package inside was missing. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of cute little bits and pieces. Okay, I like choose happy. I'll do a little arrow as well. So looking at the instructions, zero is for no heat just a pressure transfer. Number one is for glassine bags or printed overlays, definitely not those. Number two, lightweight coated paper, vellum or stickers, could probably work on that. Number three, lightweight uncoated paper. Hmm, I'd say that might be coated paper, it's a bit difficult to tell. Also for heavyweight paper, number four, cardstock, uncoated. Number five, chipboards, or toner reactive glitter sheets. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to try these three with setting number, I'm going to go number three. That seems like kind of a medium setting. So, put these in the little protective sheet here, nice and close together. And I've got a little bit of oil that I've cut off. Alright, so setting. Ooh, okay, right. Press 
press the gold button to start. One, setting two, setting three. Press the gold button to increase temperature. LED indicator light will flash red and turn a steady green and beep when temperature is reached. Okay, so I've set the temperature. I have a cut foil to the size. I've put the foil in the transfer folder and closed it. Now all I have to do is feed the hinge side of the transfer folder into the unit. If the foil transfer is incomplete, the heat might be too low. If wrinkling or uneven texture occurs, the heat is too high. Use the lowest temperature, which will completely transfer the foil. Hmm, okay, maybe I'll try number two then. I'm assuming I just keep pressing, yep, and it just goes back through. Great, oh, it's green. All right, so I'm on setting number two. Apparently, all I have to do is feed that into the machine. Oh, okay, so once you've inserted it, it grabs it and does it the rest of the rolling all by itself. So you don't need to keep feeding it through. All I have to do is let go, wait for it to come out the other side, cross my fingers, <laughs> see if this worked okay. Now, I'm not entirely sure exactly what it means by wrinkling because when it sticks, as you can see, there's wrinkles all over the place. So I don't know what the difference between wrinkling and wrinkles is. There's a bit of a funny smell as it goes through. It's kind of a hot plastic smell. I have to say I was kind of expecting something like that. So that seems about right. It's not hot to touch. Neither is that. It's quite cool actually. Let's see if this worked. I think Heidi Swap products, I'd hope that it worked. Oh, wow. Okay. That is cool. Oh, so crisp. All right. I'm thinking that these adorable little Heidi Swap mink signature ephemera are like the perfect thing to use with it because that has come out absolutely perfect. It is shiny, completely gold. There's no scrappy bits. It looks amazing. All right, so that's the first one. Second one is the little arrow. Same results. Perfect, gorgeous gold. That looks wonderful as well. And Okay, now on this bold one, it's not quite as perfect. There's a couple of really tiny, you can just see it there, little bits of black that didn't quite take the foil. But that white words come out really well. And honestly, that's a way better result than I was expecting. That's really cute. Okay, well, turns out the little mink machine is pretty darn simple to use. Wait for the light to go green. All you've got to do is insert your custom, insert your items into the transfer folder and cover with foil with the coloured side facing up. Choose your heat setting according to the guide in the mink manual. Wait for the light to go green and for the machine to beep. Feed it through and peel off your beautifully foiled embellishments in the other end. That was really simple. I might try it with a few other things. Now it's actually quite warm on the top there. It's not burning to touch, but it's hot enough to be uncomfortable. So maybe keep the little machine away from tiny fingers. But apart from that, thumbs up. So that is the mini mink machine from Heidi Swap. And that's a first look and unpacking. And I think I'm gonna like this. Off to have a few more plays with the mink machine.